I'm Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy. Welcome back to another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Every Tuesday, we get on a roll with mindfulness tips for energy and momentum. Let's talk about that elusive flow. It's the holy grail of creativity. When you get into a zone, when you're completely absorbed and focused, when hours fly by and you're oblivious to everything around you. We know magic happens when you're in the flow. It's how musicians create hits. It's how writers create best-selling novels. We all experience it to some degree or another. When you're head down in a deadline. When a brainstorming session feels amazing. But there are downfalls to a flow state. This is according to entrepreneur Grace Beverly, author of the book Working Hard, Hardly Working. Time for a small PSA. It's evident that flow is incredibly beneficial and fulfilling, she says. But it also has its negatives. As with anything that makes us forget about our needs, flow can make us neglect health habits. You can be too focused on a task. When you've needed to pee for hours, but can't make it up from your desk. It's important to be able to flow whilst taking time for breaks, says Grace. If you don't manage your flow properly, you're susceptible to short-term burnout, she says. That certainly won't help your productivity or enjoyment. She calls it flowitis, when you're exhausted by 11am. When the day after you flow, you're depleted and unmotivated. When you don't end up with a sense of accomplishment. So what's the mindful remedy? Tip one, don't overflow, says Grace. This is when you flow without an end point. You work until you can't work anymore. You work until exhaustion. This is an easy fix. Set an alarm on your phone. Or ask a friend to call you at a set time. Decide on an end point before you begin, especially if you know you'll lose track of time. Tip two, plan your flow time for when you have a commitment right afterwards, says Beverly. This will stop you obsessing or dipping your toe back in the water later. Allow a 30-minute buffer to shake it off and come back down to earth, she says. Then meet a friend. Go to the movies. Chat to your parents. Anything to stop that overflow happening. Tip three. Bring back the break. Remote working has really affected our lunch breaks. For a lot of people, they no longer happen. Grace asks, are you worried you won't be able to get back into the flow after taking a break? Cut the crap, she says, and focus on discipline. We can all activate flow when we want to, she says. Try intentionally not finishing a task. End halfway through a sentence. Don't get to the end of a paragraph. See what happens when you come back to it. Trust your flow. That creative river will still be there tomorrow. Now, hop out and dry yourself off before your toes get wrinkly. I'm Casey Donovan and you've been listening to The Space. Follow us on Instagram at the space underscore podcast for more tips like this one. We're back tonight with another mood soothing episode. We know it's winter, but we're bringing naked back how it can boost your confidence and help you sleep. Space out.